hi welcome to this uh, brief tutorial of multiplication timetable in uh, C sharp um, the following component used include a label which is right up there there's another label here a list box text box buttons 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 and a group form as you can see how the program works if I enter any number in there to be multiplied and that's what happened I've used this uh, for loop to get this out of the way and um, we can also reset okay once you reset you can see the cursor right there because uh, this text box has been set to focus so what I'll do now is uh, I will actually take you guys into the C sharp development environment and you guys see how this very program works so let's go into C sharp development environment now Welcome back guys uh, as you can see I've just uh, completed the, de uh, the design of my interface this is uh, just a new one so if I to start with what I'll do is to actually set focus on this uh, text box right here as the text box you can see it although I've not bothered giving it a name so I double click on the form just set my focus there so that's it right there set focus enter and make sure you enter your semicolon okay and we now go back to the multiplication timetable itself then you double click on that and you declare I'm going to declare I that's my integer and I also declare another integer that is equals to zero in this case that's t I would then say t equals uh, text box t would be the text box but uh, I will have to convert that to convert to convert that like I said to in 32 so it actually depends on the size of uh, data you intend to use but I'm going to be using um, convert to 32 so what am I converting the content within the text box okay, I had to convert it because the content within the text box itself is uh, is string so what happened is this will convert it into an integer value okay the next thing is I will then write a loop statement for i equals for i equals one call column i less than 13 because I only want 1 to 12 anyway and I'll just say i plus plus just like C plus plus okay I plus plus and I enter a quote there close my quote right there so my list box that is right up here I want my list box list box one which you guys can see I want the very list box one to store the item okay and what item that will be I okay so what I'll do now is just run this program you see what will happen once uh, I said send me a column missing there just to store whatever value from 1 to 12 into this list box but before that I build the system force where I build is successful so let's run this very program so what will happen is the system should just generate 1 to 12 okay the system is here now so all I just need to do is press on this uh, multiplication table well there's nothing happening there so let's go back into the code and see what happened okay what happened was because uh, this variable was not used that's why the system wouldn't respond but uh, I'll just comment that out for now and uh, build it again and that's it system, uh, system is successful now so we'll run the program 
as you guys can see variable t is assigned but the value is never used so if I click on this now what you see is number 1 to 12 so I'm now going to use the, this value right here the value t variable t so let me go back into the codes back into the code get rid of the comment I have in there delete that comment and right here I will then start to use my variable so the first thing is say plus enter a quote and say multiply another quote enter a plus this plus in this case is just to add a say concatenator so the next thing I said I now need to say I need a, a T there okay which is my variable so add another plus like I said the plus we actually put together all the information and I'm, I'm entering in there and I'll say speech mark equals and I would now put the data together again and say I multiply by T I believe I multiply by T the T in this case is my text box so whatever is inside T is multiplied by I and here is I I is actually 1 to 12 so I have I times whatever is entered in text box equals this so first thing first let me rebuild my system well the system shows uh, build state is successful so let's run the program right now okay now the system is ready let me just enter any number in there click on the multiplication button you can see 8 multiplied by 8 uh, 1 multiplied by 8 is 8 2 multiplied by 8 is 16 and, uh, and so on but uh, one thing that is left for me to do is to set my reset is to work on my reset button and uh, and the exit button okay so that's how you create multiplication time table but let, let's go back into the system now so that I can, I can take care of the reset button and uh, the exit button back into form load let me give my exit button I will click on the reset and just say list box one dot items dot clear okay so the next thing is let me set my oh I'm sorry let me text box equals clear and uh, the text box let me also set focus on the text box there and that's all folks the next thing that is left is just uh, just one more line of code um, and that's just to exit the system application dot exit that's that okay now the system is ready so the next thing is build again now the build is successful run the system enter any numeric value in here multiply it reset give it a go again multiply reset enter another multiply or if you don't want to you can always multiply continuously and what will happen is you will end up with a vertical through bar okay guys so that's how you create or develop a multiplication timetable in C sharp so if you guys would like uh, a copy of this code I'll be very happy to send you a copy of the code and do please subscribe but before then let's give this our exit button a try it works as expected have a nice day guys so here are the code again that's my button there integer integer convert string to integer 
for loop and that's it guys very simple lines of codes so I'm gonna leave you guys with this uh, three times timetable so you all have a nice day now bye